energy. Energy is a term we often use in everyday life, but when we use it in physics, we need to be careful as many of our everyday uses are wrong in a scientific context. Energy can be in lots of different places. It can be stored or it can be moving, but it's always the same thing, energy. However, we do give it a label depending on where it is, as this is really helpful. And as it turns out, there's only nine labels we actually use for energy, and most of them are fairly obvious. So let's have a look at these labels for energy now. I'll only give a brief explanation if it's not really obvious. So number one, nuclear energy. This is the energy that's powering our sun. Number two, thermal energy or heat energy. Number three, light energy. Number four, sound energy. Number five, electrical energy. Number six, gravitational potential energy. The higher up the skydiver goes, the more gravitational potential energy he has. Number seven, kinetic energy. As a skydiver falls out of the plane, he's moving. And kinetic energy is just a fancy word for movement energy. Number eight, chemical energy. All these three things have chemical energy stored inside them. Finally, number nine, elastic potential energy. And that's the energy stored in something that's been stretched. One of the really big things we need to remember about energy is that it cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred into one form or another, from one place to another. This is known as the conservation of energy and is one of the fundamental principles of physics. Knowing this, let's have a look at some of the examples from before. So, here's the fire again. We now know that chemical energy is stored in the wood in the fire. And what's actually happening is that chemical energy is being transferred to the surroundings as light energy and heat energy. Okay, now let's look at the light bulb again. This time, light energy and heat energy are again being transferred to the surroundings, but this time it's electrical energy that's going into the light bulb. What about the television? Well, it's electrical energy going into the television. We definitely get light energy and sound energy coming out of the television. There's also a bit of wasted heat energy there as well. Finally, the slingshot. Well, there's elastic potential energy stored in the stretched elastic of the slingshot. And when we let go, that elastic potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy of the ball as it flies through the air and also to gravitational potential energy of the ball as it gains in height. It's really, really important with energy that we remember the nine labels we have for energy, and it's also incredibly important to remember that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred from one place to another.